Hello everyone. We're done with the first unit of our learning thrust. Let's move to unit 2, which is exploring motion. Motion is one of the most obvious physical phenomena in the universe, which can be described qualitatively and quantitatively. The quantitative description of motion without reference to physical cause is called kinematics, and the study between motion and its causes is called dynamics. Here, we will study the following learning concepts. Distance is a measurement of length. It does not give any information about the direction in which length is measured. It is a scalar quantity which only specifies magnitude. As you move from one position to another, the length of the straight line drawn from your initial position to your final position is your displacement. Displacement is the change in position of an object. The concept of displacement is usually used when describing object that has moved. When an object is at rest, its displacement is zero because its position does not change no matter how much time has elapsed. Displacement is not always equal to distance traveled. This means the displacement is the same no matter what path you follow to get there. Any path connecting two places will result in the same displacement. The idea of rate is also a good tool in the description of speed and velocity. A rate is a quantity divided by time. It tells how fast something happens, or how much something changes in certain amount of time. Speed is one example of a rate. It is a measure of how fast something is moving. Speed is also known as the rate at which distance is covered. In symbols, the SI units used for speed and velocity are meter per second, kilometer per hour, meter per minute, and many others. Take a look at the dashboard of a car or a jeep when you ride in one of them. The circular gauge encircled in figure 1.2a is called a speedometer. This is an instrument that determines the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. Does the speedometer always register the same speed? At a red light, the car has a 0 km per hour speed, and along the highway, its speed is probably 80 km per hour. These individual speeds are known as instantaneous speeds. Instantaneous speed is the speed of an object at an instant. Average speed, on the other hand, is the total distance covered by an object in a certain period of time. It is the representative speed of the whole course of travel. Using the instantaneous speeds, the average speed can be computed by getting the summation of all the individual instantaneous speeds and dividing the resulting sum by the number of instantaneous speeds. On the other hand, a much easier way of finding the average speed is to look at the odometer. An odometer like the one encircled in figure 1.2b is an instrument that informs the total distance traveled by the vehicle. Average speed is the ratio of the total distance traveled and the total time of travel. In symbols,
solve the problem. A bus traveled toward the southern Luzon along a straight path of 0.5 hour, with an average velocity of 88 km per hour. Stopped for 20 minutes, then traveled the same direction 0.25 hour, with an average velocity of 75 km per hour. Number 1. What is the average velocity for the total trip? Number 2. What is the displacement for the total trip? Please study the following solution, with the corresponding given values, and the quantities that are required to be calculated. Step 1. Convert T sub 2, equals 20 minutes to its corresponding magnitude in hour. Step 2. Solve for D sub 1, D sub 2, and D sub 3 by multiplying the given velocity to its corresponding time. Step 3, substitute, D sub 1, D sub 2, and D sub 3, and also T sub 1, T sub 2, and T sub 3, to the formula, and solve for the average velocity. Step 4, substitute D sub 1, D sub 2, and D sub 3, to the formula, and solve the displacement for the total trip. Learning is by doing. Perform the concept understanding, self-test, and self-activity. Distinguish between average speed and average velocity. Imagine you leave your house and walk 240 meters down the road to the school at a certain speed. Then after class, you walk back home again. What is the total distance that you cover? If your total trip takes you 540 seconds, what are your displacement, average speed, and velocity? For the self-test, you have to choose the letter of the best answer. For the self-activity, you have to perform the indicated tasks. Once again, thank you for your compliance and response efforts. <laughs>